Listen, I got you set up in PR with Howard Gross. Gross is the kind of guy who really knows how to handle the pressure. This is Howard Gross talking. I'm 35 years old. I'm the head of this division. I'm not the head of this division because I'm a moron. I got the head of this division because ah, ah, I'm not a moron. Listen, my neck is on the line here, you guys. I'm the one who's going to determine whether this is brilliant or not brilliant. And I'm telling you, it's crap. Look, I'm telling you, I'm not. Listen, listen to me for a second. I'm not trying to sell pantyhose. It's on my head. I gotta convince him that killing 100,000 jobs and closing down a plant, moving it to Latin America, is not unpatriotic. You understand what that means? I gotta sell this being as patriotic as goddamn apple pie. If anybody up there sees this, I'm gonna die. They're gonna kill me. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. I got the phone is going here. I got hold. I got, I got to put you on hold. I got 35 lines going here. I got the one that has three lines coming in. Three people looking at me. I got 35 lines. I got 35 people looking at me. Hang on for a second. What? Mr. Young's on three. He's just seen the campaign. He sounds upset. Tell him the whole. Mr. Rayback's on four. He's also seen the campaign. He also sounds upset. Tell Rayback the whole. Your wife's on five from the hospital. Her father just passed away. Tell my wife the whole. Your mechanic's on six. He wants to talk to you about your Mercedes. Hey, how you doing? Hello, Hi. How are you? Yeah. Good stuff for you. Fine. No, I'm great. You guys, you guys are great. You guys are great. Are you kidding? Yeah, so is it going to be ready or what? No, it's more than an oil leak. I'm afraid we have to yeah. have to fix the transmission. Uh, $2,500, I what said. What are you talking about? No, 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 just oil. I just want oil. Matter, you know, we're talking maybe 4000 even. No, 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 wait, 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 I gotta see Danley. He's on his way to the prayer breakfast, sir. Jesus Christ! You guys are gunners. You guys are the worst. You, you guys are worst. You, you guys think you have a monopoly on the whole thing? You guys got a goddamn dealership there? You're crazy. I'm bringing it in 50. I'm bringing it in 25. I'm bringing it in 30 for a goddamn oil change. That's under warranty, that transmission. I'm working here all day long. I'm 35 years old. I head up in division. I'm gonna have a goddamn heart attack trying to. What do you want me to say? I got 35 guys on hold. I got too many guys on hold. I can't talk to you. Look, what do you want me to say? Your father is dead. There's no point in being in semi-private, okay? It could be in Yankee Stadium. He doesn't have to be in semi-private. The man is dead. Of course the company's got a policy. That doesn't mean they're going to cover for it. I got 35 lines here. I can't talk to you. Hang on for one second. It wasn't my fault. I'll call you back. It wasn't my fault. I'll call you back. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Hey. That? Yeah, Frank. Lesson number four. The secret to survival is never make a decision. Never. Never. The minute you do, you get screwed. I didn't make that decision. I approved somebody else's decision. I don't make decisions like that. So you know the difference between a decision and approval? I suggest you find out what the difference is and then call the guy who made the decision. I just approved it. Listen, what are you guys doing to me? You're killing me up here. I got a $72,000 Mercedes Benz that's leaking more oil than... Uh... In Poland, I got a dead father-in-law who's pissed off because he's in semi-private. I got a cat in the hospital that's cost me hundred dollars a day. I can put him in the Hyatt for seventy-five. You guys are killing me up here. I'm dying here. I'm dying. I love this business. <laughs>